flash steam power plants are more common and require low temperatures than dry steam geothermal power plants. These geothermal power plants operate at temperatures around 180 degrees Celsius. They utilize water from underground sources and convert it into steam through flash tanks to spin turbines for electricity production. Flash steam geothermal power plants begin by pumping high-pressure hot water from underground reservoirs to the surface through production wells. Upon reaching the surface, the water enters a flash tank, where its boiling point is reduced, converting it into steam. This steam is then used to spin turbines connected to generators, generating electricity. Excess water from this process is then injected back deep into the earth, ensuring continuous electricity generation and efficient utilization of geothermal resources. Binary cycle power plants are typically located in regions where water temperatures rising from the surface are lower compared to flash steam geothermal power plants. They function by utilizing pentane or isobutane as secondary fluids known for their low boiling temperatures. These secondary fluids are heated using surface water, resulting in the production of steam. The resulting steam is then used to drive turbines generating electricity. Binary cycle power plants operate by pumping hot water from underground reservoirs to the surface through production wells. This hot water heats a secondary fluid with a lower boiling point such as pentane or isobutane in a heat exchanger. When this secondary fluid boils and turns into vapor, it powers turbines that are linked to generators which produce electricity. Afterwards, the secondary fluid is condensed back into liquid form by passing it through a cooling system with water and then used again in the process. At the same time, the hot water from the underground reservoir is sent back underground ensuring that the cycle can continue producing electricity constantly and using geothermal energy efficiently.